23 year old Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that it was a murder for hire. Right, and the dudes that got snitched on and they wanted revenge on him snitching and they killed him. And this was Remy Ma and the son and the uh, friend come in that by getting paid to initiate the killing. Making calls and calling shots. Is allegedly planning on dragging Nicki Minaj to court over the M charges against her own son. Yes, you heard that right. Let's dive into this wild tale of revenge, betrayal, and shocking allegations. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So, where do we even begin? The feud between Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj is nothing new. It's been a long standing battle of the queens of rap, filled with diss tracks, shady interviews, and public spats. Remember Remy Ma's savage diss track, Shether? That was just the tip of the iceberg. But now, things have escalated to a whole new level. According to sources, Remy Ma's son, Jason, has been arrested in connection with the unalivement of a notorious drug kingpin known as D-Block. But here's the twist, D-Block is reportedly the cousin of none other than Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Zoo Petty. 23-year-old Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a in Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that it was a murder. Multiple police and law enforcement sources have revealed that the son of rapper Remy Ma, 23-year-old Jason J. Scott, along with another man, have each been charged with first-degree M, two counts of weapons possession, and reckless endangerment. These charges are in connection with the June 7, 2021, unalivement of 47-year-old Darius Gilbo. On the evening of June 7, 2021, Darius Gilbo was confronted by two men at 148 and Rockaway Boulevard in South Jamaica, Queens. The confrontation escalated when the two men opened fire, striking Gilbo multiple times in the head and chest. Despite efforts to save him, he was pronounced dead at Jamaica Hospital. The incident was highly violent and public indicating a potentially premeditated and targeted attack. The investigation into Gilbo's EM has been extensive, taking three years to culminate in the arrests of Scott and Sigur. Police are investigating the possibility that this was an M for hire, suggesting that the king was orchestrated by a third party. The delay in arrests indicates a meticulous gathering of evidence, possibly involving informants or the unearthing of loose information over time. Darius Gilbo, known on the streets as D-Block, was no stranger to law enforcement. He had served three terms in state prison, two for selling drugs and one for robbery. In 2020, he was arrested as part of Operation Heat Wave, a major drug bus conducted by the state attorney's general office. This operation targeted a large drug dealing network in upstate Jefferson County, implicating 54 suspects. Gilbo was identified as a supplier for three Jefferson County dealers. Despite his extensive criminal record, Gilbo managed to secure release multiple times, raising suspicions among his associates. Some believe that he may have been cooperating with law enforcement, potentially providing information that led to his reduced sentences and release. This speculation about Gilbo being a snitch might have created enemies, leading to a vendetta that resulted in his unalivement. Jason J. Scott, who lives in the Bronx, is one of Remy Ma's two children. He has been incarcerated on Rikers Island since his arrest last month on a separate weapons charge. During that arrest, he was found in possession of a loaded .40 caliber Glock with an extended magazine and liquid promethazine. His arrest and subsequent detention likely provided the authorities with additional opportunities to link him to Gilbo's M. Now, this kingpin was nothing to play with, and he had kingpin friends and family who want revenge for this M. But first, let's rewind a bit. The feud between Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj has always been intense. The seeds of discord between Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj were sown years before the public skirmishes began. Remy Ma, a seasoned veteran of the rap game known for her gritty lyricism and street credibility, had been making waves since the early 2000s. On the other hand, 
Nicki Minaj burst onto the scene in the late 2000s with a flamboyant persona and a knack for crafting catchy, chart-topping hits. Initially, their relationship appeared cordial, with occasional collaborations and mutual respect shown in interviews and social media posts. However, tension simmered beneath the surface as both artists vied for the title of the Queen of Rap, a coveted position in a male-dominated industry. Though early in her career, Minaj lauded fellow female rapper Remy Ma, their friendship all but ended in July 2007 after a then budding Minaj released her Dirty Money freestyle targeting a fellow female rapper, which Remy Ma felt could be her. That same summer, Remy Ma confronted Minaj at a mixtape release party to ask who exactly she had been spitting lines about. On top of the drama about their lyrical feud, rumors began swirling about the two Grammy-nominated rappers being romantic lovers. Both denied they dated and things became a whole lot more complicated when a woman reportedly claiming to be Remy Ma's ex-girlfriend surfaced and very closely resembled Minaj. From there, the rappers went their separate ways, one up and one down. Minaj's career was just taking off in 2008 when Remy Ma was sentenced to prison. Upon her prison release, Remy Ma suggested the long brewing feud was over and publicly congratulated Minaj on winning the Best Female Hip Hop Artist Award at the BETE Awards in 2016. But jumpstarting her post-prison career, Remy Ma made tracks imitating several of Minaj's hits, including Truffle Butter and Monster. The feud reached a boiling point in 2017 with the release of Remy Ma's scathing diss track, Shether. The nearly seven minute long lyrical assault took aim at Nicki Minaj with relentless ferocity, accusing her of everything from ghostwriting allegations to plastic surgery jabs and questioning her authenticity as an artist. The track, built over the instrumental of Naz's classic Ether, became an instant sensation, setting social media ablaze and dividing fans and critics alike. Shether wasn't just a diss track, it was a manifesto of grievances and grievances long held by Remy Ma against Nicki Minaj. It marked a turning point in their relationship, transforming a simmering rivalry into an all out war of words. Nicki Minaj, known for her quick wit and sharp tongue, didn't stay silent for long. She responded to Shether with No Frauds, a collaboration with Drake and Lil Wayne. While critics praised Nicki's ability to bounce back swiftly, some fans felt that her response lacked the raw intensity of Remy Ma's attack. Nevertheless, No Frauds climbed the charts and further fueled the feud's fire. Throughout 2018, the feud continued with various public confrontations and social media exchanges. Remy Ma made several appearances on talk shows and podcasts where she reiterated her disdain for Nicki Minaj. While Nicki often used her social media platforms to respond to Remy's comments indirectly, the ongoing back and forth kept the feud in the public eye. In 2019 and 2020, the intensity of the feud seemed to cool down. Both artists focused more on their music and personal lives, with Nicki Minaj getting married and starting a family, and Remy Ma dealing with legal issues involving her son. Although the feud was not as active, the underlying tension remained. The feud took a darker turn in 2021 when Remy Ma's son, Jason J. Scott, was arrested and charged with first degree AM in connection with the death of a drug kingpin known as D-Block. Rumors and speculation suggested that the M might be linked to the feud, with some alleging that Remy's son was involved in a hit on Nicki Minaj's husband's cousin as part of a retaliation plot. These allegations, while unconfirmed, added a new and dangerous dimension to the ongoing rivalry. The years 2022 and 2023 saw continued media scrutiny and speculation about the feud. Various bloggers and online commentators suggested that Nicki Minaj's recent erratic behavior and association with alleged gang members could be linked to the feud. Rumors about drug use and unstable mental states further fueled the narrative that both artists were deeply affected by the ongoing rivalry. Fast forward to now and we have Jason, uh, Remy Ma's son, who's been arrested for 
The internet is going crazy with people picking sides and throwing out wild theories. Some say this is all a setup to bring down Remy Ma's family. Others believe it's a long overdue payback. And then there are those who think this feud has spiraled completely out of control and both sides are to blame. But wait, it gets even messier. In the midst of all this, Nicki Minaj has been making headlines for her erratic behavior. There have been numerous instances of her appearing on social media, seemingly under the influence and surrounded by her goons. One particular instance happened last year when Nicki Minaj hit up Instagram Live with a not so subtle agenda, allegedly flaunting her squad of goons. Making calls and calling shots. Those words carried more weight than a truckload of gold chains. It was a declaration of her dominance, not just in the music game, but in life itself. Nicki Minaj wasn't going to let anyone else write her story. She held the pen and was prepared to use it. As her live stream rolled on, she swung her smartphone like a magic wand, giving viewers an insider's view into her inner circle. The camera panned around the room, revealing her formidable army of goons. It was a visual statement that screamed, don't mess with Nikki. The message was clear. She had a battalion of loyal supporters ready to defend her narrative at any cost. But beneath the surface, the gossip mill was churning. It wasn't just about Nikki flexing her muscles. It was about the subtext, the unspoken message she was sending. Is there a deeper connection here? Could Nikki's unstable state have somehow triggered this chain of events? Some fans are speculating that Nikki's recent behavior and associations with questionable characters might have influenced the tension between her camp and Remy Maz. Is it possible that something happened behind the scenes that pushed Jason to take such drastic action? To get a better understanding, we need to look at Remy Ma's background as well. Known for her tough persona and connections to the street life, Remy has always been vocal about her struggles and the reality of living a hard life. In an interview with Vlad TV, she opened up about her past experiences, including getting stabbed in her face. I Me, mean, they like they was mad jealousy, and I ended up getting cut in the face by a guy. It wasn't by a guy. Fight, by a guy. Wow. Oh, no girl would ever, 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 ever. I've never ever lost a fight in my life. Like, <laughs> Given this context, it's not entirely surprising that Remy Ma's son might have been exposed to similar environments and influences. But did he really commit M as a form of retaliation? Or is there more to this story? Authorities are still investigating the M of D Block. And while Jason has been arrested, the full details of the case are still emerging. Meanwhile, Remy Ma is fighting back. She reacted to her son's arrest, telling TMZ, we stand by Jason's innocence and pray that the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This is undoubtedly a difficult time for my family and me. While we sincerely appreciate the love and support we have received from all of you, we kindly ask for privacy as our legal team works to prove Jason's innocence. Remy's son is being represented by attorney Don Florio and the rapper says, via the law office. As his mother, I want to address this situation personally, but have been strongly advised by his legal counsel not to say anything. As most people in similar situations are informed by their attorneys due to it being an active case. Remy Ma gained a reputation for her fierce lyricism and sharp delivery, yet outside of the strides she's made in music, she's a devoted mother to her two kids including a daughter she shares with her husband, Papoos. Her personal life has been on full display over the years, especially during her tenure on Love & Hip Hop, New York. However, she's maintained a strong balance between her professional and personal life, simultaneously showing off her kids while also protecting them from the limelight. When I see you, I'm gonna do X, Y, this. There's no rules, like you can't jump me though, you can't sneak me though. No. The rapper gave birth to her son, Jason Scott, from a previous relationship. Scott grew up in the public eye, 
often appearing on Remy Ma's social media feed and accompanying her to a variety of events. In 2018, Remy detailed their bond in a heartfelt Instagram photo, my baby forever, my punkin, my firstborn, she wrote. I had him when I was so young and thought I knew it all, she wrote. We basically grew up together. But he's not the only child the rapper has. In 2018, Remy and her husband Papoose welcomed their daughter, Reminis McKenzie, affectionately known as the Golden Child. The birth of Reminis was particularly significant for the self-proclaimed rap goddess, as she had publicly shared her struggles with infertility and her joy upon finally becoming pregnant. The couple often shares adorable pictures and videos of their daughter on social media, capturing precious moments of her growth and development. Reminis McKenzie has brought immense joy to Remy Ma and Papoose, strengthening their family bond even further. Now, you refer <laughs> to your baby as the golden child yes. in references to the struggles of what yes. you just said. Yes. Um, but can you reveal her name? Her real name is Reminis McKenzie. In addition to her biological children, Remy is a loving stepmother to Papoose's three kids from previous relationships. Two of his children, Dejanae Mackey, born in 1996, and Shamel Mackey, born in 1999, he shares with his ex-girlfriend, Yvetta Lashley. He also has another daughter, Destiny, born 2000. Remy has embraced these children as her own, fostering a nurturing and supportive environment for the entire family. Furthermore, this dynamic showcases the rapper's dedication to her blended family, ensuring that each child feels valued and loved. Her relationship with her stepchildren is often highlighted in family gatherings and celebrations, where the unity and happiness of the family are evident. But with the new family tragedy at hand, the rapper can't help but relive her criminal past, which has reportedly inspired her troubled son. For six years, four months, and five days, Remy sat in the Bedford Hills Correctional Facility for Women a 45 minute drive north from the Bronx where she was born. Separated from her son, Jason, and husband, Papoose, she plotted her comeback, studying the rap game. Soon she came to a conclusion, with the exception of Tupac, every rapper who served time suffered for it career-wise upon release. None found greater success. With social media now allowing artists to release music and address fans directly, the MC knew she had to start rapping the moment she touched the ground. And so she hit the studio hours after being released from prison on August 1st, 2014, meeting DJ Khaled to record the They Don't Love You No More remix. One week later, she knocked out a song with Jada Kiss, then a record with Ty Dolla Sign. Then, since it was the summer of 2014, she touched on Bobby Shmurda's Hot In instrumental. She was 34 years old without a state ID or driver's license or health insurance. She also scored a hit record with All The Way Up, a collaboration with Fat Joe in French Montana that went double platinum and spawned a slew of unofficial remixes. The big house to a big house, ain't have a girlfriend but the big out. The comeback was complete, but she learned something during the process, leaving her with a bittersweet feeling. It's a popularity contest, she'd later reveal. I don't really care about rap the way I used to because there is so much politics. I just do what I do. I write, I talk my S, say what I want to say, bounce around on the beat, and I keep it moving. She added that she felt constrained by the direction of her music. She'd like to diversify and address different topics, but she couldn't, she said, because the public prefers her rapping about certain things in a certain way over a certain type of production. I actually have some dope records that are actually about something, she said. I just never get them close to the forefront because it's not what people be wanting to hear. There's something sad and wrong when an artist like Remy Ma, someone who has survived so much to reach the point she's at now, feels boxed in and unable to express herself in her totality. Throughout her career, she's been so stubborn, so sure of what she wants and what's best for her. What's stopping her now, you may ask yourself. The answer, of course, is money. 
if I didn't have bills to pay, then I could do any record that I want, the rapper said. And I do what I do because it's fun and I love my craft, but this is a business and this is my job. You can go into your job and do the job that's expected of you, or you can do the job that you want to do. It's going to affect your paycheck. In any case, celeb feuds are nothing new, but this one has all the elements of a true crime thriller, M, revenge, drugs, and the dark side of fame. It's no wonder fans and media alike are glued to every new development. So what's next for Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj? The legal proceedings are just beginning and it's anyone's guess how this will all play out. Will Remy Ma be able to prove Nicki's involvement? Will Jason be cleared of the charges? Or is this just another chapter in the never ending saga of their feud? Only time will tell. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.